Why Networks Incentivized Testnet has finally started on September the 19th. It is the third out of five planned testnets for Quai Network, and it is called the RNH Testnet. You can check out more on the Quai blog or Quai Twitter about it. But in this video, we will focus on how to set up a node and a stratum proxy on your machine, on your laptop, computer, or whatever you have that meets the node requirements. So speaking of the node requirements, so let's go into the Quai docs for the node overview. So there are two node types that are usable for mining in this uh, uh, network for this testnet. There is a global node and there is a slice node. The requirements for a global node are much higher than for a slice node. So the requirements for the global node, that is the one that runs all nine shards out of Quai Network and Quai Network uses sharding in its architecture. And uh, with this mining, you can either mine all nine shards, as I said, or you can mine one or just pick a couple of slices that you would like to run. And uh, for the global node that runs nine slices, you need a CPU with at least four cores, 32 gigabytes of RAM, then fast SSD with at least three terabytes of uh, free space. So this is important because over time the testnet is going to run and it is seemingly planned for about three months. So you'll need quite a bit of storage to store your data a blockchain data and an internet service of 10 megabit per second. And for slice node, that is much more manageable for many more people. The CPU with four cores is also a requirement. However, the RAM is a half of the one before, so it's only 16 gigs and one terabyte of free storage for the uh, on your disk and also 10 megabyte per second for download internet service. And um, the setup is also quite straightforward and we can go over it for the Mac because I have a Mac machine on hand that I can show it on. Um, we can go straight into run a node and there are documents for a Linux based machine and a Mac OS. However, you would probably want to run it on Windows as well, and it's not possible right now. It is not supported. You can try to install a different operating system on your computer or whatever you're using for running a node. However, keep in mind that installing a new operating system will erase the previous one. So you have to be very careful when doing that, and you have to know what you're doing. So let's get finally into it. We'll go, uh, first thing first, we'll go into our terminal and that's where the whole thing starts. So I just cleaned up my workspace and let's get into it finally. So brew install go is a command that will install go programming language and if you don't have it, already this brew that will help you install many things on your laptop. You can install it very, uh, with an easy command in your terminal. So brew install go will install go, as I already said, and it takes just a little bit of time. And if you already have go installed like I did, that's fine. You are also good to go. And uh, after that, you take uh, brew install git make. That's another thing, another dependency that we need to have installed before we can build our node. And uh, then we have to install the Quai repository and copy it to our uh, CD as well. Quite fun. It takes very little time depending on how fast your internet speed is. So now is a git checkout latest release. So git checkout is a function to make sure your Quai repository is up to date. So you can copy this command. However, it gives you um, kind of a, a random number here, which is a version. To check which version you have to actually use for this, you need to go by the link in the docs. So go Quai releases page and here you copy the very last release that is available. So control C and then you here, you replace what is written with this and you press uh, tab or enter again and this whole works fine and we'll make sure we are up to date with the, what the Quai team is releasing. So after that we have to configure our node and that is the part that some people might not know so let's go over it. You click cpnetwork.env.dist. So basically this thing copies the sample file, the example file that you will have to edit a little bit. It doesn't show you anything after it copied. It is copied so you just 
press it, enter, and then you can edit it. There are several code editors that you can use. So there is VS Code that is pretty convenient and comf I mean good to use in this case. However, if you don't have anything installed, any kind of text editors, you can edit it straight in the terminal with something like Wim or Nano. And I'll just show it on the example of Nano. To do that, you, cl you click Nano Network dot env and it opens up the file network.env network.environment and uh, it shows you unique coinbase addresses to create these addresses and to know which ones you gotta put in here you have to have a pelagos or a koala wallet that supports coin network or maybe by the time you're watching this there are already more wallets available but basically pelagos that's what i'm going to use as an example is a web browser extension wallet where you can just create an account and add more wallets on different shards to create a wallet on a different shards, you click on the right hand side and um, you click add address and you have to type the name of the shard. There are different names for shards as uh, they are seen in the network node overview page on um, the, in the Quai docs. So there is Cypress 1, 2 and 3, Paxos 1, 2 and 3 and Hydro 1, 2 and 3. And every code as you can see, so Cypress 1 corresponds to zone 00. So zone 00 Coinbase address is going to be your Cypress 1 address. For that, you have to go ahead and uh, add address and you call it Cypress 1. And uh, there you go, you're going to have your Cypress 1 address. And you can create as many as you want on the same, but you can only add one address per shard in this regard. So let's say my Marina address on Cypress 1, I click here on the, the three dots on the right. I click copy address and then in here I go to my uh, back to my terminal and uh, I replace every address like this with the wallet address that I have in Pelagos. So for example, like this. I mean, you can edit them all, but the ones that are important to edit is of course the ones that you are actually planning to mine and receive rewards for. So after that, we can skip the ports. They are not, uh, you don't need to change anything there. We go down, we go down and then the web sockets, you also don't change them. You leave them as they are. Then the sub socket URLs, they are also left as they are until we get to slices. So as you get to slices, that's where you have to pick the slices that you would like to mine. Again, we have the same chain codes that you had before. So 00 is Cypress 1 and 22 is uh, Hydra 3. You pick the one, let's say, I would like to mine, as I said, uh, Paxos 1 and Paxos 2. So that will mean I will have to leave 1.0 and 1.1 one, one in the slices. So I delete all the other ones and I only leave the ones that are that I would like to run a node for. And then now you have to click Ctrl X. That will lead you to the exit window. And then it asks you, do you want to save this stuff? You click Y, that means yes. And then you click Tab to complete everything. And uh, we go back to the node, set up docs and um, we are good to configure our router. If you're having a problem with the UPnP configuration, uh, you have to enable it on your laptop. There is an FAQ on how to do that. However, it is already enabled on my laptop. And after this, you're good to go to start running your node. You have the build command, which is make go quai, which will create the build your node source. And uh, yeah, it will take a bit of time. We have to wait for it. Yeah, it's just done. And then we can uh, finally run. You can click make run. And because we picked the slices in the environment file before, it will only run the slices that you picked. So we uh, clicked node run. This is what it shows to me. MKD, <laughs> I'm not gonna say it, it doesn't matter. Um, and then um, we are good. So I picked Paxos not for just random reason. That's because I am located in Europe. So technically region two or Paxos is dedicated to European part as well as Africa. And uh, region three is more of Asia and uh, Cyprus, Cyprus is more for Americas and uh, their continents. 
Uh, you can verify how well your node is running using these commands. So I would recommend checking your zone logs. So these are the ones that are updated most frequently. So this command, tlf node logs zone, um, and you have to replace for what zone you're running. So since we pick the slice for one zero, you have to have one zero here as well. So this is what it is showing to me right now. And oh, yeah, we are just waiting a little bit. Oh. Uh, if your node logs are running too fast, keep in mind you can use Control C command to stop whatever is going on on your in your terminal. So you, you press Control C, and you're good. It will gonna stop. Uh, it will take some time, a little bit, some time to sync with the other nodes in the network with other peers. And after that done, that's good. You are good. You're running a node. I will show you in the evening when I'm editing how it's supposed to look like. So here is how it looks like when your node is appending the blocks. It says appended new block and it says the block number. And you actually have to go ahead and check the number that it says there, right here. I'm showing it. And uh, you then go ahead and check on the Quai Stats dashboard what the block number is there for the exact chain that you're checking. So we were setting up Paxos 1, that is 1, 0. So we also check for Paxos 1 here. And we check the maximum of the latest height. And as you can see, it is 20,618, and we only had 100. Than 34. So that means that my node is not synced with the rest of the network. So I have to give it some time to sync and then I will have to set up my miner afterwards. The time it takes to sync depends on the multiple individual parameters, such as when you join the network, what type of node you have and etc. etc. as well as other participants. And um, yeah, just give it some time. And there is an easy but very important process of maintaining your node. And first you have to make stop your node with a make stop command. And after that, you can wait until it's terminated and you can make sure that your GitHub release is the same one that is the latest one. So you make sure you use a git pull and git fetch all to make sure all the GitHub stuff is up to date. Then you git check out the latest release, just like you did when you initialized your node. So you click in the docs um, on that exact link that says latest release of GoQuai. You copy it and then use it in your terminal. After you pasted it in, you are all good to go to rebuild your node and then run it all again. So right now, let's go straight into Stratum Proxy setup. And it's also very straightforward and easy to do. The Stratum Proxy is what allows your node to broadcast to your mining machine what is happening on the network. And um, this is, again, as I said, important part. And the important is to set up your Stratum Proxy on the same machine that your node is running. So environment setup and installing dependencies step we can skip because we just installed the node. So we don't really need to have anything here. So we can go straight into install go quite stratum. So this just copy the command again in the docs and put it in and click tab very quickly. It is all set up and we have to use the git checkout latest release again. And to do that, you go to go quite stratum releases page. And in there you pick the latest release available. So that is this one. And you make sure that it is the one that you put into your terminal click tab again and yeah that's it that's how you update make sure you're on the latest release possible and then you have to copy the configuration file um, click enter again you don't need to change anything here you are good to go with this and then uh, you can go and build your proxy so now let's run the proxy for the slice that we are running because initially I was running slice one zero or Paxos one. I have to use the WS ports for Paxos one as well. So the first number is the region WS port. The region WS port is going to be the number that is um, WS port, as you can see, for Paxos. Paxos is the region. So it is uh, 8581. So I inserted here and then for zone zone ws port is uh, the exact zone paxos one that we have so paxos one zone one zero it's eight six one three but you have to do all this setup after your node is synced otherwise it does not really make sense and, uh, yeah 
Uh, you? For yeah. As you can see, there is an error because I made a slight mistake. So let's go back to go back to the previous line that you just entered. You press an arrow up on your keyboard. So this will repeat the line that you just uh, put in the terminal and um, you have to delete this part as well. So it's just region equals and zone equals and you should be good. Congrats, you just set up your node and your proxy on your computer and uh, yeah, you're good to go to set up a miner as well. Quai is GPU and CPU mineable, however, CPU is not very it doesn't have a competitive advantage at all. So if there are at least a few GPUs and you can rest assured there are enough GPUs, your CPU will not really earn you any Quai rewards. So yeah, I would advise to set up a GPU and uh, the GPU that is required, of course, depends on how many other miners they are. So unfortunately, I cannot really advise you on what GPU you should have. However, if you have some specific questions regarding the process, you can go ahead and uh, ask it in the comments or go to Quai Discord or Quai Twitter and uh, get an answer from there as well because everybody is on the support right now. And uh, yeah, if you don't have anything like that and you would like to still participate in the testnet, you can have a look at the full schedule of the testnet uh, on the Quai Network blog. And um, this is going to be, this was just a setup for the phase one for nodes and miners because we also going to have three more stages for people. There is integration, smart contracts, and deployment. That's where the developers can finally come in and the Quai team sub Quai team's support will be dedicated to them. And then we can go ahead and start phase three, that is users, and phase four for DAP testing. Um, the, rewards has all, the rewards have only been announced for nodes and miners and in DAP deployment. However, if you'd like to have more rewards when you are a user, I would recommend to join the Galaxy Space for Galaxy. And that is just by this link, that is galaxy.com slash quai, and you are... Uh, you're good to go for the tasks here for the time being. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know again any questions and see you in the next one.